So guys, it's VR Monday, and that means we're playing with the quest again. Now, the Oculus Quest keeps getting better every time I take it out of its case. So today's video is going to be super exciting. I'm going to show you how to increase the resolution on your Oculus Quest, which is absolutely insane. Just before we begin, a few announcements. First off, you guys have brought the numbers up once again. The number of people subscribed to watching these videos is now all the way up to 4.9%. We are almost at 5%. You guys are absolutely incredible. So if you like this video and you're part of that 95.1% of people that aren't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I'm uploading videos daily now. So if you're into VR, if you're into tech, make sure to subscribe because we have VR Monday and VR Friday. And then every other day I'm uploading tech videos. A full in-depth review of the Razer Blade 15 is coming very soon. So if you're into that sort of stuff, make sure to check out some of our other videos. Follow me on my social media here and here because I want to hear what you guys have to say. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video, the Oculus Quest. So this little thing keeps getting better every time it's taken out. Every time I record a video for you guys, this thing just goes up a notch. So let's power it on. And while we're powering it on, I'm going to tell you guys basically what we're going to be doing. So the Oculus Quest is essentially an Android device. Therefore, we can use ADB commands to increase the sharpness and therefore increase the resolution. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So just before we begin, let me show you a very fast clip of what this looks like before we do the mod so that you guys actually have some sort of comparison to look at. Okay, so basically what you are going to need to do is you're going to need to have a developer account signed into your quest. If you have done anything with SideQuest at all in the past, you would have already done this. But just in case you have never done anything with SideQuest, let me show you exactly Exactly how to set up your developer account. Okay, so here's what you want to do. To create a developer account, you will need to enter this website here, dashboard.oculus.com, and then when you enter that website, you need to create an organization. Once you create this organization, you should be ready to go into your phone. So I'm going to switch to the phone view now, and I'm going to show you what you need to do on your phone. So on your phone, you want to go into the Oculus Quest app right here, and then you want to click on settings down here. Then once you're clicked into settings, you want to select your Oculus Quest, press the down arrow, click on more settings, and click on developer mode. Then you want to toggle developer mode to on. So basically, we're going to be taking the files from the Oculus Go because they were both running Android. So we are going to do the exact same thing. So uh, you're going to need ADB for this. I'm going to have the files for ADB down in the description below. So you are going to need ADB. So we're going to download that and install it because I accidentally formatted my computer, which means I don't have ADB installed yet, which is just, which is just great. Just, just, just amazing. Okay, click yes, yes, yes. Uh, always trust, yes, finish, all done, perfect. So now when you type, when you press Windows and R and type CMD and type ADB, you should see the ADB list go down, which is great. That means we have ADB. So now you're going to want to type ADB devices with your quest plugged into your computer with developer mode active. This should ask the Quest whether you want to give access to the computer. So you want to put on the Quest and see if it's asking you for USB debugging. Yep, you click yes on that. So you allow USB debugging. And now it's as simple as just taking all these files here from the Oculus Go resolution upgrade to the quest. So basically what you want to do is you want to do adb install and drag each apk file into here and then just install it. adb install adb install adb install again And again, okay, so once you have all of those things installed, 
Okay, so now we have that done. Let's check it out before we do. Okay, let's try it out. So, moment of truth. Have we increased the resolution of our Oculus Quest? Oh my god, we have. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this. I'm recording right now. It is so much sharper. Honestly, I hope this is showing on recording, but it is honestly like you increased the resolution completely. So that that is amazing. Like this is this is incredible. Everything is just so sharp. So much sharper than than last time. Okay, so guys, that was absolutely amazing, but um, let me show you a side-by-side, -side because you guys aren't truly going to see the difference until you see the two of them side-by-side. -side. So here is a comparison. On the left-hand side, we have the first clip before we did the mod, and on the right-hand side, we have the clip after we did the mod. So I'm going to take a screenshot right now, zoom in on both of them, and as you can see, the the clip where we modded the quest to have the higher resolution is a lot sharper than the clip on the left before we modded the resolution. And this is truly amazing, because this means that we just made the quest, a mobile device that already looked insane, look even better. And I mean, this is free. It's not like you have to pay for this upgrade. It's something that you can do yourself right now, and it only takes a few minutes. So to me, this is a no-brainer. Okay, guys, so that was just a super fast video on how to increase the resolution on your Oculus Quest. Now, oh my god, does the quest get better every time we check it out. There's just things constantly getting upgraded about it. There's the quest is constantly evolving. And now we're using the script from the Oculus Go, we can increase the resolution of the Oculus Quest. And let me just tell you, it is so much sharper and so much clearer. Now, I don't know what the implications uh, of this will be on battery life, but I will make sure to do further testing and I'm gonna let you know either on Discord or on Twitter. Yeah, no, I abs- I can, you, can you stop- stop making noises? So yeah, guys, this is absolutely incredible. So now not only do we have Steam VR, not only do we have hand tracking, we now also have a higher resolution. Now, <laughs> trust me, I think a higher refresh rate is coming soon. So I would say stop yourself from selling your Oculus Quest to get the Oculus Quest 2.0, because right now I don't think there's any point amazing people around the world are doing so many mods for our current oculus quest <laughs> it might actually end up having more features than the oculus quest 2.0 by the time that comes out and the fact that you can connect the new jedi controllers to it it's just like no thanks i won't be paying more i'm staying with my quest here especially since i don't have an issue with it being front heavy because i have a head strap and I can always put a battery bank at the back. So I find this absolutely incredible. The fact that we can now also increase the resolution and just bump up our quest that little bit more. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're part of that 95.1% of people that aren't subscribed yet and you liked the video, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, join the 360p gang because that's what we have. We have the 360p gang because when I upload my videos to YouTube, YouTube takes 30 minutes to get them up to 1080p. So if you ding that bell, you will get my videos in sweet 360p. So as I said, I'm uploading videos daily right now. It's VR Monday and VR Friday. And then apart from that, I'm uploading tech videos, tech reviews, tech unboxings, tech everything every single day. If you like tech, make sure to check out some of the other videos I've uploaded. And if you want to be notified of future videos, subscribe, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. It's VR Monday. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, the microphone is peaking, but I should be able to fix that in post, hopefully. I did have to bring the volume up though, because it was a little meh. Let's see what the numbers are like. Oh, it's 4.9. Oh my God, it's so close. Oh, it's so close to being 5%.
Out so what's up guys, my, fr my friends at SeatGeek uh, decided it would be a good idea to give my friends a friend a car, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm David Dobrik, I'm the real one, I'm the original one, 1999. You're, you're, I'm, you're I'm that the, slut, I'm the, Karina. I'm <laughs>